We are now going to do a fresh install of OpenSUSE as a virtual machine under a VMware hypervisor on a Red Hat 7 system. We have already inserted the installed DVD and we are about to begin. Notice that in our initial screen we can do an installation, an upgrade, or if we scroll down to more, we see that we can also use the install DVD as a rescue system. Uh, we can check memory and do various things, but we're going to do an install. So I'll just pick on install and then it will cook for a while before it asks me to do anything. Uh, so now it's finding all the hardware, deciding what drivers to use, etc. and getting started. This is OpenSUSE Leap version 42.3. And this is a typical GNOME graphical booting screen while it's getting itself ready. So it should take a few more seconds. I'll pause so we don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, it has moved on and it's about ready to bring up a graphical screen. And there we go. So it's initializing the hardware on the system. Okay, now it's asking whether we want to accept English as a language and also the license agreement. So we'll just say sure. Click on the next button. It's doing more probing of the system, deciding what to do. And it says in a very small font, initializing the installation. Now it would like to take a default partition scheme which we will override. Um, so let me say edit proposed settings and I will take a partition based proposal. I will choose for my root partition ext4. I won't have any separate home partition or other partitions to keep things simple and that's all I have to choose. So it's pretty simple. And it says here it's going to create a swap partition of 2 gigabytes and then a root partition for everything else of 28 gigabytes. Um, and so I'm happy enough with that, so I'll just say next. And first thing is just to pick the time zone, so I'll pick central time where I am currently sitting. And I could do some other settings. Do that unless I don't want to take automatic time setting. So I just say next. And here I have a choice for what kind of desktop. Let me pick the GNOME desktop. I could pick the KDE or as a server, pure text mode, no graphical, or I could do custom to do something a little more complicated or different. And then it wants me to give a a full name for uh, the main user, so I'll say LF student, and for the username I'll pick student, and I'll give a password, and then I will not pick use this password for system administrator. That would be like what Ubuntu does, and I will not pick automatic login. It's generally not a good idea to let your system log in without having to give a password. So I'll say next. It doesn't like my password because it's too simple, but I'll say, okay, do it. And now I have to give a root password. And you might want to test your keyboard layout to make sure you have the right language. I'll say next. And once again, it's going to complain my password is too simple. And then I just say install. And that's all the choices that I actually have to make. Uh, so they, really nothing except specifying username, password, and what kind of desktop I want. We can do further adjustments once the system is fully installed. Now while it's installing, which should take about 10 minutes, uh, the default screen here is a slideshow giving you brochures and information. If I click on details, it's a little more fun to look at. So you can see the overall progress as it goes. This first bar here is for 
each package as it's being installed and on the bottom you can see I'm already about 15% installed. So I'm going to pause the recording because it's kind of boring to watch it install all 1500 packages and I'll wait until it's asking me to do something again before resuming. Okay that took about less than 10 minutes and now it's telling me the system is going to reboot and it did. Um, and so we'll just see our normal booting uh, of the new open SUSE system. And uh, it should quickly bring up the login screen. Just a few more seconds. And there's our usual greeter screen. I'll just type in the password for the student account. And we have a fully operational OpenSUSE system. Now the first thing I would do from here is update the system because there's always new updates to various packages since the DVD install disk was released. So that's important for both security and performance and it's even prompting me to go ahead and do that and then I'd probably do some minor customizations about what kind of menus I see, how windows behave, the keyboard, etc. But I'll leave that for people to do as an exercise.